I'm Jack Parker with Parker Cornea. I'm one of the ophthalmologists here, and I thought to talk to you a little bit about keratoconus, about what the condition is and what you might expect going forward, and what we may talk about at your appointment. So the cornea is the clear front part of the eye. It's the part of the eye that you would touch. It's the part of the eye that the contact lens goes on. And normally, the cornea should be perfectly round. It should be like a glass marble. And that's to focus light to a point. Now, the, if the cornea is not perfectly round, if it's warped, we call that warpage astigmatism. And some astigmatism is very normal. There are lots of people who have some astigmatism, some warpage, is nothing, and nothing is wrong with them. But there are other people who have an enormous amount of corneal warpage. And corneal warpage, which is severe and getting worse. And in these people who have severe worsening corneal warpage, often the vision is quite poor. And there's a name for this condition. That name is keratoconus. So keratoconus is a condition we see all the time in young people who start life, who are born with healthy, normally shaped eyes, and then over the course of their young life, the eye starts to lose its normal shape. The cornea starts to become more and more severely warped. And when that occurs, the quality of vision usually declines. Now, keratoconus, we see it all day, every day. It's very common. And people who have keratoconus almost always have it in both eyes, but much worse in one eye than the other. We don't know what causes keratoconus, but we know for a fact that eye rubbing makes it worse. So if you've been diagnosed with keratoconus, the first thing to do is make sure you're not rubbing your eyes because eye rubbing makes it drastically worse. Now, the most important goal we have with keratoconus is to stop the warpage from getting worse because the more misshapen the cornea gets, the worse and worse the quality of your vision. There is a really effective treatment that will stop keratoconus from getting worse. It's called cross-linking. Cross-linking is not a surgery. It's something we do in the clinic. It's an eye drop that we give in combination with a UV light therapy. It takes about an hour. We put a drop on the eye and have you look at a special light for an hour. It's not exciting, it's not painful, it's boring. You just look at a light while we give you a drop. And this treatment usually just has to be done one time ever, one time for your whole life. And it's more than 97% effective at permanently stopping the warpage from getting any worse. So the most important thing to know, if you have keratoconus, is that we need to make sure you don't lose any more than you already have. And that's done by making sure you're not rubbing the eyes and by cross-linking you to make sure that the corneal shape doesn't change. Cross-linking is very safe, it's very effective, and it's covered by basically everyone's insurance. But to get that coverage, we usually need to get your old medical records. So if our office has been calling you, asking you, which doctors have you seen? Can we get your records? Can you get your records? Can you bring in old glasses? That's because we want your insurance to cover this procedure. And we are doing everything we can with your help to make sure that they pay for this vision-saving procedure. So cross-linking is the most important thing for most keratoconic patients. Now, Cross-linking, as necessary as it is, it doesn't make your vision better. It just stops things from getting worse. It's like if your house is on fire and you call the fire department, the fire department will come out. They will put the fire out, but they won't build you a new house. They won't buy you new furniture. So that's why when your house is on fire, you call them right away so they can save as much as possible. It's kind of the same thing with cross-linking. If you think you've got keratoconus, you need to be treated right away, not after you've lost a bunch of vision, because the cross-linking won't bring any of that back. They won't get you vision that you've lost. It'll just prevent more vision from being lost. So don't delay. If you've been diagnosed with keratoconus, you probably need this soon. 
Now, what can be done to improve your vision? There are lots of things, fortunately. One procedure which you may hear about is a procedure called CAIRS, C-A-I-R-S. CAIRS is a collagen implant that's put inside the cornea in a patient with keratoconus to reverse some of the corneal warpage that has already occurred. It's a minor procedure, typically takes three or four minutes to do. It's done in the office. It's not some big trip down to the hospital. You don't have to go to sleep. You don't have to get an IV. It's a collagen implant that we put in in the office that makes the shape of the cornea better. This is also covered by almost everybody's insurance. So it's a really nice thing that can be done to reverse some of the warpage that has already occurred. Other things that can be done to improve your vision with keratoconus include a contact lens, either worn on the surface of the eye, given to you by your regular eye doctor, or put into the eye. There's something called an implantable contact lens, an ICL. This is a contact that can be put inside the eye to try to give you the same benefit as a contact worn on the surface of the eye. You may be a candidate for that procedure depending on how your examination goes. A final thing that can be done for keratoconus is corneal transplant surgery. Replacing the cornea with a new cornea is an option. And if you have really severe keratoconus, it may be your best option. But it's generally an option of last resort. Because a corneal transplant is something you have to take care of for the rest of your life. It's a big responsibility. It's something you're signing up for for 70 years or longer. And so usually, rather than some big operation with a lifetime worth of commitment that you have to agree to when you're young, we typically like to do everything we can to save and preserve and restore your cornea, your eye, rather than just cutting it off and giving you somebody else's. So a corneal transplant is an option, but in general, it's much better to preserve your eye with cross-linking, improve the shape with a CARES procedure, to wear a contact or have a contact be put inside the eye. These are some of the things that we will discuss at your upcoming visit, either with me or with another one of the providers here at Parker Cornea. We encourage you to use this as a starting point for discussion. Write down your questions and let's talk when you come in. We look forward to working with you to give you your best possible vision. Thank you very much.